Okay, so macOS 13, the official release candidate version, has just been released to developers right now. And this update definitely brings us a step closer to the official release of macOS Ventura. As you can see for me on my MacBook Pro, this update came in at exactly 1.07 gigs, updating from beta 11, and unpacked installation size jumped to 1.92 gigs. Now, if we go into our system preferences and go to general and go to software update you can see the new build number that we have here with the rc or release candidate version it's 22a379 this is a big jump because the previous one actually ended with a b so we didn't get to the a build and kudos to apple for making the big jump to be able to release this release candidate version before we look at some of the new features and new changes that are here with mac os 13 rc i would like to show you some other updates or operating systems that apple released today you can see here we have ios 16.1 release candidate ipad os 16.1 rc mac os 13 rc watchOS 9.1 RC and tvOS 16.1 RC. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you want to keep up to date and know what your device can do with the latest operating systems, then do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, on to some of the new features and changes. There's no denying that when it comes to macOS Ventura, the first thing you're going to see is the new wallpaper that we have. Now, it's a new wallpaper and at the same time when you go to the screensaver section they've actually added the mac os ventura screensaver finally here and it was introduced in the later stages of mac os 13. now that's not all the first and most major change in my opinion when it comes to mac os 13 is the new system settings this used to be system preferences and you can see the way it looks it's has had a design overhaul it's almost as if apple took the ipad os system preferences or settings and brought it over to the mac so most of the subsections that you see here correspond to a similar or look similar to what you would typically see on the ipad and some of the subsections actually also look similar to what you have on ios it's trying to create this universal look but just a change i thought i should let you know of and Thanks to today's uh, newsroom, we have some changes that are here also for the Mac. You can see here, because of the new continuity camera feature that's here, you see that Belkin iPhone mount with MagSafe for Mac notebooks is now available starting today. You can see it's listed as a new product. And this is actually something that you can buy and test out the new continuity camera for the Mac. Now, I'll just open up this uh, FaceTime so that you can see he, myself and see that I'm, I'm going to be able to test this continuity camera. The video that you are seeing is coming actually from my MacBook Pro. Now this is my iPhone 14 Pro. I'm just going to put it on the agronomic hinge of the Mac and if I go to where it says video and select my iPhone 14 Pro, you can see Actually, the moment I placed it there, it automatically just detected by itself. I didn't actually have to press the phone itself. And you can see here, it's reverted to the wide view section or wide view lens of the iPhone 14 Pro because I don't have the Belkin tag or the Belkin mount that clips on the top of the Mac. But you can see here, it has active tracking. So you can see when I move around, it sort of follows me around. If I go this side, it follows me around as well and when i come closer and could go like this you can see that it switches to the main lens which is better quality and you actually have more settings that you can play with here when you go to the e video effect so you can see i had studio light on if i turn it off you see the change that takes place portraits i also have that on you can see when i turn it off you can see some of the things that are in the background as well and you can also see center stage if i turn this off it doesn't follow me around and it just reverts to the main sensor of the iphone 14 pro which is the best quality and when it 
turn on center stage it uses the wide lens to follow you around now this is working for me but for some users they have reported that this until this rc build of mac os 13 for some reason it's not working if it's working for me on ios 16.1 and i'm already on a beta it should most probably work for you after this uh, ios update that i did today so do check it out as well and let's continue with some of our new features that are here with this update so out of uh, facetime there's also some new changes when it comes to the portable notebooks so this has to do with security and if we go into the system settings here and then go to where it says privacy and security and go all the way down to where it says allow accessories to connect you can see here we have ask for new accessories now by default on portable notebooks new usb and thunderbolt accessories require user approval before accessories can communicate on mac and you can always change this as as you can see here and if you want it to always ask when it's unlocked or locked you can always play some play with some of your settings that you have here that's something that's good and also i would like to let you know that when it comes to uh, gamers and most controllers that are usb based or bluetooth based this update adds support for the game controller framework on mac os 13 and ios 16 as well as tv os so most of those console controllers that are wireless are going to be working on mac os 13 that is something that's good if we go into our launch pad here and just open up the photos app you can see that we have a new pop-up screen what's new in photos and i would like to bring your attention here where it says combine photo and video with people closest to you this is shared library and you'll be able to see this by going into your system settings and when you click on your apple id and go to your photo section you can enable that and you'll be able to see that shared library and of course you can copy and paste edits in pictures and you can also merge duplicate and save space when it comes to the photos app major changes right there and also i would be happy to let you know that when it comes to the home app if you have accessories that you use in the home application and smart home sensors and cameras you can see when you open up your home app for the first time you get a new splash screen that tells you what's new basically you can control your home and set it so that you don't forget it and share access with friends or families as access keys digitally and i will also be happy to let you know that this uh, update adds meta accessory support for the home app now if you're wondering what is meta meta is basically a new smart home connectivity standard that allows you to enable a wide variety of smart home accessories to work together across different ecosystems so google amazon and apple are among some of the leading and biggest users that have adopted this this is something that's major if we go into our launch pad also and then open up books there's a bug where sometimes it loses connectivity but this has been improved and the reading experience has also been updated with mac os 13 the release candidate version now there are updates when it comes to the safari build that we have here so if we go to the about safari here you can see the version is still safari 16.1 but the build that we have on the rc version is 18614.2.9.1.10 1.1.0 so that has been updated from the previous one that we had on beta 11 which was 18614.2.9.1.8 so hopefully this me this means better browsing experience and stability and hdr video playback issue hopefully this will be fixed it's something that you can always test out and see now it does not end i would like to bring your attention to this section because today Apple didn't have like a video event or a live event where they showcase some of the new releases that came out but you can see here we did have some new press or news release uh, products and you can see Apple unveiled a newly redesigned iPad and this one it has a USB-C color and the most major release that i would say was released today is the introduction of the ipad pro that has the new generation m2 chip this 
thing is most probably a beast and of course they also introduced a new apple tv 4k and this one has a apple magic remote that has a usb c as well so it seems like apple is going to usb c everything the apple tv remote the ipad and soon the iphone could be moving to usb c just something that i thought i should let you know of and of course don't forget that ask apple introduces uh apple introduced ask apple for developers where you can ask questions and interact with apple engineers and different teams if you have some questions or concerns or you just want to communicate this is something that's good for those that do this and also i would like to show you some of the fixes that way here so the first fix has to do with messages where sometimes you would delete and send a message however the message would still continue to show up and also there were some glitches when it comes to performance and crashes when especially when it comes to system settings that has been resolved with this update now thanks to apple we do know when mac os 13 is officially going to be coming out and apple has mentioned that this update is coming out on the 24th of october which is next week monday i'm going to be doing a long form video that's going to highlight most of the new features and changes when it comes to mac os ventura and other than that this is how the release candidate version came in for me it feels better and smoother than most of the betas that we were testing out and i wouldn't at this time go ahead and remove the profile just in case apple releases a release candidate too we saw that when it comes to mac os Monterey where Apple released an RC to RC or release candidate version 2 so keep your profile for now if you want to be able to get to the official release soon and other than that this is how this update came in for me on my MacBook Pro if you like this video do leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video peace